Russian leader Vladimir Putin is trying to show himself to be competent in dealing with the situation in Russia's Kursk Oblast and to shift the responsibility for the invasion of the Ukrainian armed forces to other Russian government officials and the military. The Institute for the Study of War, ISW, said this. Russian leader Vladimir Putin continues to portray himself as an effective and knowledgeable manager of the situation along the Ukrainian-Russian border and to shift responsibility for ongoing challenges in responding to the Ukrainian incursion in the area to other Russian military and government officials, the ISW said. It is noted that on the 12th of August, Putin convened a high-level meeting with Russian military leaders, security officials and representatives from both federal and regional authorities to address the ongoing developments in Belgorod, Bryansk and Kursk Oblast. During the session, he assigned specific duties to the military and security forces in Kursk Oblast and shared his perspective on the political implications of Ukraine's actions within Russian territory. Putin censored Alexei Smirnov, the acting governor of Kursk Oblast, for overstepping his bounds by discussing matters that Putin deemed the exclusive responsibility of the Russian Ministry of Defense. He instructed Smirnov to concentrate solely on the socio-economic affairs of the region. Additionally, Putin responded to First Deputy Prime Minister Denis Manturov's assertion that all other issues are under control by highlighting Manturov's omission of several important social concerns. Vyacheslav Gladkov, governor of Belgorod Oblast, took the opportunity to request Putin's intervention in implementing certain social policies aimed at supporting the civilian population in his region. Meanwhile, both Gladkov and Alexander Bogomaz, the governor of Bryansk Oblast, sidestepped any potential criticism from Putin by steering clear of military topics. Putin's assertion that each official has only one responsibility contrasts with his attempt to frame himself as capable of overseeing and competently understanding the political, socio-economic and military situation along the international border, the ISW said. The Kremlin has made public the video footage and transcripts of the reports presented by the governors of Bryansk, Belgorod and Kursk oblasts to Putin, showcasing the difficulties regional authorities are currently encountering. This appears to be an effort to depict these regional leaders as responsible for the ongoing issues and reliant on Putin's assistance. Notably, the Kremlin has chosen not to release the video of transcripts from the portion of the meeting where military and security officials delivered their reports to Putin. The Kremlin's decision to publish footage showing Putin chastising senior Russian officials is likely a warning to other Russian officials to refrain from commenting about the Ukrainian incursion into Russia, the ISW said. Putin has entrusted overlapping duties to the Russian Ministry of Defense, the Federal Security Service and the Russian Guard along the Ukrainian-Russian border. This decision once again underscores the attempt by Russian forces in Kursk Oblast to form integrated command and control structures vital for the coordination of their operations. Putin also made it clear that the foremost responsibility of the Russian Ministry of Defense is to drive Ukrainian forces out of Russian territory. Ukrainian forces staged ambush on a Russian Kamaz convoys inside the international border in Russia's Kursk province, as the Kremlin declared a federal emergency and said it was transferring extra forces to try to snuff out a four-day incursion that has badly damaged its credibility. A video circulated by Russian military bloggers showed a destroyed convoy, with bodies just visible inside some trucks, on the E-38 East-West Highway at Oktyabrsko, a location far deeper inside Russia than any previously confirmed fighting since Ukraine's forces crossed the border. Commentators said the attack, reminiscent of Ukrainian attacks on Russian troops besieging Kiev in the first weeks of the war, demonstrated an effective hit-and-run strategy, but the incursion appeared likely to draw an escalating response from the Kremlin, and its overall outcome remains profoundly uncertain. Russian pro-war military bloggers are criticizing Russia's military leadership after this. Commenting on the incident, war bloggers said the convoy was allegedly destroyed by a US-made HIMARS rocket system and slammed its command for the incident. All of this is not just the result of the unyielding stupidity of the individual who organized the convoy movement near the border in the third year of the war and then had it remain stationary, but also the result of the overall chaotic situation of hastily pulling reserves to the breakthrough area, for which they were completely unprepared, the pro-war telegram channel Voyany Osvedomital wrote.
Some military bloggers called for those responsible for the column movement to be severely punished. For organizing soldiers' movements in columns we need executions today, military blogger Roman Alakin wrote, referring to assault penal military units, which usually suffer high casualties. Those who gave the order to move in columns in the area of observation of copters and himars should also be sentenced according to the laws of wartime, today this is an assault penal squad, Alakin said. The Russian pro-war telegram channel Rybar, which has over 1.2 million subscribers, said that recent footage from the Kursk region shows that nearly three years of fighting still haven't taught some people anything, adding, however, that such decisions are far from the level of the general staff. By the third year of the war, even a monkey could have learned this, but not some staff general from the defense ministry who orders these deadly marches in the frontline zone, wrote the telegram channel Trinat City.